When you think about your relating themes and how dominant they are in your top 10, how do you use those, leverage those in order to make an impact as a lawyer, how to make an impact as an advocate, and how to make an impact throughout your work at the ILO? One of the things I learned pretty early on was the achiever in me is the hard worker, and that's number one. So I will work as many hours as it takes. I will, um, I have incredible stamina. So if something needs to drive into the early hours of the morning, uh, I will I will do that. But it took me a while to figure out that that wasn't enough. If you were really going to motivate people, if you were really going to get good outcomes, co-create with people, you needed relationships. And I tend to be somebody who has fewer relationships, but deeper relationships. And that's characterized my my life. So it was learning, again, guess with that connectedness piece as well, that those deep relationships were incredibly important, but I also needed more of a breadth. So to get to know more people, but know them as people, because I tended to keep a distance professionally as well. So there was my personal life, there was my professional life. And I, I think to some extent you do have to keep some healthy distance. But it doesn't stop you from getting to know your colleagues as people, to understanding that they do yoga too. They might have, a, you know, an interest in meditation just like I do. They might love the theater. You know, those connections and relating to people on a personal level, I think, are so important. You build those, and that also helps you build a team, cohesiveness in a team, understanding in a team. And for me, that was really important, particularly as I moved up in the organization. You, those relationships made things happen.